Well, let's put my big mouth to the test and have a look at oil. And a warm welcome to one and all. If it's your first time here, I'm the big fella Scruff. And sitting next to me is the Wild Wonder Wink, who is a wild wonder because I haven't got me coffee, which is not good. She had a bit of an accident and needs to go to the dentist tomorrow. And she's a little bit upset because I keep calling her Fang. Where's me coffee at, Fang? <laughs> You're mean. So I, I'm having a jolly time of things. So tomorrow when you see me with a black eye, it's cause Fang turned into a werewolf and kicked the shit out of me. Stop hurting me. <laughs> she's got a little chip on her tooth and she's not happy. And the fact that I've just mentioned it made it even worse. So she's probably is going to kill me. Is that right there, Fang? Make your own coffee. Uh, me, uh, oh, go on, go howl at the moon and make the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Well, get me on back. She's killing me. We, 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 we should be getting the keys for another house this week, and she's on one. Uh, and apparently, part of moving is chucking all of your clothes away and buying a new wardrobe because they mightn't fit in. How does that work? Uh, actually, how, how does that work? No, how does you throwing all your clothes away? I didn't throw contribute away. to I moving out. If I haven't worn them for six years, I'm not going to wear them, so I'll throw them away. I, I, I've got pants that are older than six years. In fact, I've got socks that are older than our kids. That. Hey? Your pants are older than six years. Yeah, they've got holes in them There's and everything. To be proud and, of. and if I throw them at the wall, they stick. That's disgusting. Absolutely. <laughs> Actually, pass me hat. No. Yeah, the, see, the, 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 this is how bad things is in this house. Because I, I, I'm poor, boys and girls. I've got no money left. Because Fang's bloody done it all. This hat has been all around the world. And if you ever see our pictures, you'll always see me with this hat on. Look what she's done to it. She, she's put a hole in it, boys and girls. Look, look, she's broke me. What have you got to say for yourself on that one? You did not. I didn't. Well, how did I do this? Because every time you put it on, you go, and it just went. Do you know what I think she did? I think she went out in a full moon and went. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I shouldn't be laughing really because she took me looking for a fire today and Jesus Christ, they cost a fortune. <sighs> right. Better carry on with what I was doing then, Ben. Well, when you get it, yeah, for a fight to pay for. Well, 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 you've got a lot of things to pay for, starting with a cup of coffee. Go on, make us a cup of coffee because we all know Scruffy likes a coffee and I'll only cry. On, I mean, I've been in tears all day today with the amount of bloody bashing you've done to me wallet. This is ridiculous, which is why I'm back here. And also because I opened my gob. Uh, in the live stream last night, um, somebody wanted a full analysis of uh, the chart. Well, it's a bit unfair to say things like that because one, if you're going to trade, you actually need to get right into it and you need to spend a bit of time to look at it. And it's about 20, 25 minutes for me to analyze and go through a chart fully. And, and why? Because I do multi time frame. I look at the monthly, I look at it daily, I look at the weekly, see if there's correlation, drop it into a four hour, an hour, see what's going on there. And I work my way right through it. And it's not something you can do in two minutes. And if you think it is, you're probably in the wrong job. You know, go stack the tins in Tesco's. That, that'll pay you quite well. It'll certainly pay you quicker than trying to work out an analysis in two minutes. Anyway, I'm almost on one there, wasn't I? You're always on one. Well, that's because I, 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 I haven't got my coffee. I knew, you, I knew you were going to say that. I'm desperate for a coffee and she's been a right cow. I'm reading. Never mind reading. Hey, look, see, I've got me cup. You know, simple stuff. That's and there's no right. more simple than... <laughs> Soup, yeah. She hit me, boys and girls. She hit me. Right. This is about ready to rock and roll. So let's... Just have a quick look and see. Now I do half expect this to squeeze up, but it has shown a little bit of sign to start. So I'm gonna drop 
a couple of test orders in right now and I'll explain what they are in just half a tick now test orders where it's about ready to go so what you do is you kind of count five candles back one two three four five you look for a logical place which is roughly around here underneath that base of that tail and you can kind of see the top of this giving you a slam point right so what I want from here if I move this down maybe it's, I don't know 15 20 pips on that one and then the other one will pull down to maybe into this cluster point here now a cluster point is kind of where the candles bunch together there's a lot of tail so there has been a bit of activity there and I'm half expecting some form of an order block underneath this but I like to be out before it gets there because if I can see it so can other people and if they can see it they can use that against me and that's kind of where I don't want to be so kind of keep an eye on that sort of thing anyway so what are we doing so the only orders we've got running is those two I've put in there's no orders running and that's what you saw me do earlier on now I already been to oil and if you've seen the video I did this morning you see I traded three charts at once it's not something I enjoy doing but again I opened my gob and well there you go so what am I doing with this well I'm half expecting this to come up and attack this however what's also in my eye shot is this and that's kind of why that order's under here now let's build this up and we can see what we're looking at now on sunday there's this almighty gap here had a go at trying to fill it but it didn't quite so the premise of this is actually to come back for that now i'm not rightly sure where this is going to have a go at it tonight but there's high probability it's going to come for it eventually oh isn't she sweet and <laughs> in, 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 in she's sweet you know uh, instead of calling well, well we're not calling you fang anymore i haven't got those empty tomorrow should uh, so we call you a nice name it will not be nice well of course it will oh, it's like like gums or something <laughs> <laughs> you know you're funny i think i'll be sleeping in the spare room tonight boys and girls you'll be in the garden in a tent well, I'm not allowed to be. Well, why can't it be in the house? Push it up too far. No, oh, but I like a cuddle. And you always say you like a cuddle with a big bear. Oh, you can have a cuddle with a big bear outside. Mm -hmm. Fucking cow. Right, okay. Let's carry on. So we've got the, the gap here that I'm looking for. But we've also got this level here. So I'm prepared to average into it up to there. Now... When it comes to averaging and things like that, don't be afraid of it. As long as you've got your conviction correct, then it's not averaging into a losing trade. It's actually just getting a better price of a trade. Big difference. And the other part of it is don't change your position size. Start with a single position size and then break it up. Now I can go to about 30 quid a point. You know, I don't want to because that stresses the account, but I can if I want. But as it moves up, it reduces exposure. So it's not really 30 quid a point anyway. It's only 30 quid a point when it's coming for me, not going against me. That's the difference, okay? There is another version called Martindale and that's incredibly dangerous, um, where you're doubling up and adding into it. It's, it's, no, it's no good, no good. The way I do it is common sense and it pays off. So let's start at the daily and let's have a little look. So we've got this lumper here. So there's the start of the fill. It's carried on a little bit today and it's pushing up. But look where it's at. We kind of at the top of the last swing. So that gives me an idea that this can push down. Why? Because it's done it before. If it does break through, it's coming up here. And lo and behold, what happened when it was last up here? It collapsed well it's already been there so the collapsing point should be 
anywhere around the corner about now. So that's the daily four hour. It's shown you pushes up a lot of selling pushes up. Yeah, it's a fat body, but look, these are fat and it's been buying, buying, buying like buggery. And it's, it hasn't shown any strength to the upside here. So let's have a look at the, the hourly. Again, big sell, nice chunky red bodies. All right, it's had a bit of a push up here, but it hasn't carried on with it. In fact, it's quite weak to the upper side. Even this candle coming in here is pretty weak and it's running across the top. So again, it adds weight that this is a good place to start looking to place your orders. Take it down into a 15, see what's happening. Well, there you go, you know, pushed up, down, up, straight back down, pushed up. Even that's shown signs that it was coming down. Wallop, down it came. Every time it goes up, it pulls back. Very weak, not strong pushing at all. So there's a good opportunity across this. So we can put in some good orders up to there and then catch a trade back down to this level here, or if we get any money out of it. Now I don't need a great deal. I like about 300 quid a day now. Um, why? Well, I need a pay rise and that's because of, well, I'll not see anything, but Let's put it this way. There'll, there'll be another one of us howling at the moon with the wounds I'm going to be getting over the next month or so. You got to say for yourself. Nothing. What do you mean nothing? Makes a change. Your idea. What, what idea? Getting another house. Mm -hmm. You found it. Yeah, but you wanted it. You said, find me a wreck, find me a project. I found you a wreck, found you a project. Looking over the country views, just what you want. Now you're bankrupting me and it's my fault. You said you would do all the work. You said you were looking forward to it. Oh, Christ. Me and my mouth again, boys and girls. It's not good, this, you know. That's why you often see me in sort of mankinis and stupid things like that. Because the guys in the squad wind me up and I'm stupid enough to do it. You know, I was that kid when we were at school. You know, when your mother said, if such and such told you to jump off a bridge, would you? Uh, yeah, I would. And I did. Well, like your brother. No, he shot me in the head. Yeah, but didn't you put an apple on it? No, it was a tin of beans. All right. And he told you to do it and you did it. <laughs> and you let him shoot you. Yeah, rotten git. That, 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 that's true. That we, 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 When we were kids, um, I've got a scar above my eye. Um, my, my elder brother is, is a sod. Um, playing with an air rifle uh, and I came wandering in the garden one day he goes oh I'd like to play William Tell because him and his friends were there and I thought big boys wanted to play with me I was alright I was only about six seven so I'm standing there with a the bloody tin of beans on my head and he shot me <laughs> could have bloody killed me this <laughs> so growing up in where I came from was entertaining I mean that was at a time when you could go to the sports shop and buy a crossbow we used to buy them and shoot each other with them. So anyway, story for another day. Um, health and safety. You kids don't know anything about it. Right. So this is running. Coming into here. And again, you can see it. And then if we drop it into five minutes, we can see exactly what was going on. Order point across here, which is a point of attraction. It's flushed up over the top taking out any sort of stops, any orders, anything like that, and then pulling. Now, this one was a bit of a concern, and we can run all the way up to here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to play this out now. And if you see orders coming in, it's pre-planned. Um, we're going to run it down, and we'll get it in. Well, when this one goes, so that's about 60 quid. That'll put me over 300 for the day. I'll pull this in to break even and then just run it to see how far we get it. If it reverses, I'll try and put some extra orders in to capitalize on that move as well. All right. So let me do this and I'll come back to you at the end.
Okay, guys. Job's done. Um, reasonably well executed. Stuck to the conviction of what I was after. Had it targeted correctly. In and around this area. Yes, it's pushed through. Do I care? Nope. And why? Because I'm paid. So, no positions running. No orders running. And that's what you've seen me do throughout the day. 415 quid. Now, this trade that I've just done on oil is basically because I did open my mouth last night. Uh, Winky's not here, so can't take the mickey out of her mouth anymore. <laughs> oh, I'll pay for that tomorrow. Trust me, I'll pay for that tomorrow. But I was right to pull it. Look, it's stalling in and around. And why? Look to the left. There's a stall point, you know. Uh, Mal did ask about this in the Discord, what a stall point is. A stall point is where you can see the market is stalled before and you have a clean level running through it. And there you are, you can see it. It's stalled at that area. And that's all it is. Now, the next one is here. Now, why is it here? Because you can see it's stalled. But if you look to the left... And you follow, I'll just drop your line on so you can see it and then I'll remove it. But if you look, stalled, stalled, and stalled again. So very easy to recognize and see. And <laughs> trading is to a degree easy. Oh, okay. The hard part is the common sense bit. What have you got to say about this? No, it wasn't droids. I did it myself. Shoot him. Love me little toys. And somebody asked if I'd ever have a Lamborghini. You know, and why the hell would I have a Lamborghini? I mean, bloody hell. But I do have one. I've got one right here. See? Rory got me that. Let's see if we can zoom in on, on, on my finger. There you go. It's got my name on it. See? When I'm sent things, I do keep them. Um, sentimental value, all of that sort of thing. And I have all sorts on this desk. Even got my, my my James Bond dog that was sent to me and various other bits and pieces. But why are they there? Well, it's to stop me fiddling with the chart, stop me messing around. And it gives me something to play with or actually to remind me why I do this job. You know, and I do the job because I love it and it gives me things that I love. And that's what all these little trinkets are around my desk. But <clears throat> where, where does that take you with your trading? How, how does it help? Well, technically, trading is pretty simple. Genuinely is. There's no wonder system, not really. Um, there are characteristics that I can point out. And most people that's ever done a one-to-one -one with me are probably up to speed with one or two sessions. Technically, they are. The hard part, as I've said a million times, is you. It's overcoming the gambling. It's overcoming the fear. And it's actually getting to grips with patience. They're the hard parts of trading. And I can still help with that. And, and that's what the Scruffy Squad's all about. It's about talking to each other and understanding it. But I'm telling you straight, if you're looking for X marks the spot, give this game up, because it doesn't exist, you know. And if you're looking for stupid risk reward, give this job up, because that don't work. It works on paper, but not in reality. And why? Because of fear, because of greed, and because of patience. You've got to have those in place in order to be a trader. And if you want to be a trader, remember it's a job. And if you don't think it's a job and you think it's quick money, I'm going to tell you again, give it up. And I'll keep telling you that. And I watch Twitter as a squawk bot, and the amount of shite that is on that is unbelievable. It's full of absolute bollocks. You know, oh, follow your risk reward. Oh, this key to consistency and all these buzzwords. It's absolute bullshit, right? Why? Because it's just somebody, with, it's just noise, guys. Um, get on the chart, learn how to mark one up, 
Learn how to see the swing points. Don't listen to anybody but yourself. Not even me, you know. I do this because I love it. I genuinely do love it. But I'm also pretty good at it, you know, and that breeds the love of the game. But can you trade like me? Probably not, because I'm not you, and you're not me. You want your best teacher? Look in the mirror. Can I teach you the technicals? Yes, I can. Can I teach you what to look out for? Certainly can. Can I teach you to be you? Well, that's a different story. And, well, here's a question. Drop this down in the comments. I'd be interested in seeing what the answers are. What makes a better trader? A person that looks at a glass that's half full or a person that looks at a glass half empty? Answer that question and we'll see what the consensus is. And then I'll tell you my thoughts, probably in a coffee with Scruff. So, happy days. So as always guys, I'm very easy found. You'll find all my contact details in the comments or in the description. In the description, you'll also find sort of details of the Scruffy squad if you're interested. Our prop firm of choice, which is the 5%ers, and you will get 5% off the buy-in of the link. And there's also the online journal trader sync where you get a free free go of that and a discount if you like it so just adding a little bit of value for you so as always guys trade well keep your risk managed but above all do what you love and the money will follow see you all in the next one